Our case this evening is uh, uh, involves uh, treating uh, chronic venous insufficiency. Um, the patient um, uh, was a, a sixty, uh, sorry, a seventy-six year old female who presented with severe um, bilateral lower extremity swelling and discoloration. Um, she reported a, a heavy feeling in her legs, which li limited a, her ability to walk and just perform just normal daily activity. Um, she present, presented with uh, significant um, uh, weeping and sort of uh, uh, peeling, uh, peeling changes in her skin. Uh, there was a non-healing wound in her anterior shin on the right leg. Um, all these changes had progressed uh, slowly over about six years uh, until uh, she came to see us. Um, she had been using compression therapy um, for roughly 12 to 16 months, uh, which she was unable to do um, currently because of the condition of her leg. She was not able to get compression stockings on her legs. Um, so our um, strategy at the point was to do an ultrasound to assess, you know, uh, what the the status of her um, deep vein and superficial vein systems was, and we found that she had significant um, great saphenous vein reflux in both legs of greater than two seconds. Um, and the cutoff for treating uh, saphenous vein reflux is 0.5 seconds. So she had severe reflux in both legs. Um, and the plan was to do um, uh, an EVLT or a laser ablation of the great saphenous veins, um, which you know, we do um, using tumescent anesthesia and uh, a light conscious sedation. Uh, we treated the legs um, uh, separately uh, about three weeks apart to allow for her to heal in between. Uh, so the patient returned um, after about eight weeks uh, after treating both legs. And uh, we did perform an in-office ultrasound confirming that both great saphenous veins were occluded uh, post-treatment. Um, we noticed when she returned uh, on her follow-up exam uh, she had significant, I mean, marked improvement in the swelling and discoloration. Um, the wound on her right anterior shin was nearly completely healed, um, but just the texture of her skin, there was significantly less flaking um, and just a return of, of, of normal skin color, um, which, you know, we were able to achieve in about two months. Um, the feeling of heaviness was uh, significantly improved. The patient was now able to walk and actually perform her daily activities in her house and take care of herself. Um, we do have some before and after pictures. The above picture on the left is her left leg, which again showed significant discoloration, flaking, um, and uh, you know, and then on the below, uh, on the left is, is the after shot, two months after treatment, you see significant improvement in the color of her skin and just the texture of her skin. And then on the right, uh, you see on the top is the, uh, the image of her uh, right leg with the wound that was uh, not healing. Uh, and on the bottom picture is the, the, the after picture post-treatment. Um, significant improvement in just the texture and the wound is nearly completely closed. Um, so in, in, in summary, um, we did have this patient that had six years of significant um, discomfort and um, uh, inability to um, walk and things like that that were affected because of venous insufficiency. Uh, we performed a simple ultrasound in the office um, where we were able to diagnose uh, venous reflux uh, and we were able to perform uh, laser ablation of the great saphenous vein in both legs. There are alternate treatments we can do such as venous seal or sclerotherapy in other cases, but in this particular case the laser was the, 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 the technique of choice. Um, the follow-up images kind of speak for themselves. She responded very well with uh, significant uh, improvement in the color and texture of her skin with uh, near complete healing of the wound that had been um, with her for 10 to 12 months. Um, and most importantly, her quality of life is, is significantly improved. She's able to walk around and do her you know, daily activities without the difficulty that she once had. Thank you.